Chesterfield man thanking a neighbor for saving his life after he was walking home and his heart completely stopped. As Terrence Dixon explains, his neighbor performed CPR for over 20 minutes until the ambulance got there. Every day in the Highlands community, you'll find retired veteran Jim Glacier. The walk every evening and around 7.30. Strolling the neighborhood. I start here, go up to Seaview, then up to Highland Glen, and walk around the block. Completing his mile walk to stay in shape. I enjoy seeing the neighbors, and of course, I love the neighborhood. But during one particular walk. Say hi to everybody. While talking to a neighbor, something unusual happened. As I turn to go home, my head got very light. Glacier fainted just feet away from that neighbor. And the next thing you know, I wake up inside an ambulance. My heart has just stopped. It's called ventricular tachycardia. It wasn't a heart attack. It was just like a short circuit in the electrical system. Survival rate of uh, something VTAC like this is 8 to 10 percent outside of a hospital environment. Had I made it like up to here, you know, 100 yards away, I would have been dead. But that neighbor, Jose Acoli, knew instantly what to do. And I put these two fingers around close to his neck, and there was no pulse at all. And I said, see, I said, something was running right. Coley jumped into action, performing CPR. And I was pumping, I was pumping, I was pumping. For 25 minutes, Coley pumped away while he instructed another neighbor to call 911. And I kept pumping again, I kept pumping again, I kept pumping again. Still, there was no pulse. Once the ambulance arrived, EMTs used a defibrillator on Glacier. And then when they shocked him, First time, there was nothing. The guy said, no, it's nothing. Then they shocked him again, there was nothing. Immediately, Coley sprung back into action and helped with compressions. So I said, well, shuck, we got to keep pumping. Kept pumping and kept pumping, and the guy was looking at me like I was crazy. I'm like, man, come on, we got to keep pumping. The paramedics then shot Glacier a third time and still nothing. Moments later, another crew came to assist, and eventually, Glacier came too. When they put him in the back of the rescue squad, I saw him do like this right here. He grabbed the machine. I said, oh, good, he's, he's, he's back. At the hospital, Glacier received a pacemaker. Oh, I just kept praying. I said, Lord, you know, he's all in your hands. I just thank God that he's, you know, I was here at the right time. For them to step up the way they did, you know, what do you say about that? I say, thank you, God. I'm also grateful I didn't make it halfway home. Back on his feet again, Glacier is thankful for all the hands that helped him, especially Coley's, because now he's able to walk his beloved neighborhood again. If I had to do it all over again, I'll do it again. Yeah, so you mean a lot to me, man. He'll tell Likewise. you. Likewise. But take care of yourself, because I don't want you to run across that situation again. Yes, dear. <laughs> <laughs> on your side, Terrence Dixon, NBC 12.